Hey guys, it's Nicole. Welcome to my channel. Today I have a talk through tutorial for you guys. It's like a cool toned gray burgundy look. I don't, I'm not really sure what I'm going to call it yet, but it's this right here. If you want to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. So I already moisturized my face and did my eyebrows, so we're going to go right into primer. Today I'm going to be using the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. This is a little sample that I got. And we're just going to put this on my forehead, on my nose, my cheeks, and my chin. This is to just blur out my pores and just smooth out my skin. Um, and preparation for the foundation just to make everything go on more smoothly next we're gonna move on to foundation today I'm gonna be using the Maybelline fit me in 115 ivory this is the dewy smooth one and I'm just gonna dot this all over my face Whoa. Are you telling me I'm almost done? No, I'm not. <laughs> I love this foundation so much. I think that means I need to get it back up because no one wants a depressing moment where you're done with your favorite foundation. Okay, now I'm going to take my Real Techniques complexion sponge and I'm just going to blend this all out. Sorry, this song's like stuck in my head. I don't even know what song it is. It's just like, well, this one part, I just keep humming over and over and over. Is it weird that I do my eyebrows first? I don't know what, that's how I've always done my makeup, is I do my eyebrows first, usually, and then I do my foundation. Which, I mean, this makes sense because then you get like foundation on your eyebrows, but I never seem, it never seems to happen though. So I don't know. It's not weird though, right? I mean, everyone does it in different steps. What if I just walked around with like my nose foundation and I'll blend it in? <laughs> that would be weird. I feel like my nose always gets the less coverage. Like, why is that? My nose, why can't you cooperate? Next, for concealing, I'm going to be using the LA Girl Pro Concealers. I have two shades here. I have, I think, Natural, Classic Ivory, and Natural. Classic Ivory is more like, has more of an orange undertone, so I put this first and then I use Natural to highlight because the orange tone is going to counteract the blue, so it's going to like hide the blueness better. And then the yellow tone is better for highlighting. So the only annoying thing about this, I mean this is a great concealer, but the only annoying thing about this is the freaking applicator. And like you have to squeeze it and like try to get the product out and like put it on at the same time. It's just annoying. So I'm just gonna... Uh. So I put on a little bit and then I blend it out with my finger and then I go in with natural. And just dab it out with your ring finger a little. Finger. Finger. Okay, now I'm going to take natural and I'm just going to highlight my face a bit. Look at the big one. You stupid crap. Down the bridge of my nose. A little on my forehead, a little bit on my chin, on the cupid though. I'm just going to take my beauty blender and I'm going to blend it all out. Now 
now that it's all blended out, we are going to set it with my Holy Grail combination here, my e.l.f. blush brush and my NYX HD finishing powder in banana. I love these two things for setting my under eyes, setting my concealer. So I'm just going to dab this under here. It's like the perfect little shape to go right under my under eyes. Right on my under eyes. <laughs> So we're just going to set everywhere that I put the concealer, so on my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, my chin, and a little bit on my cupid's bow. Next, we're going to do a little bit of contouring and bronzing up the face. So I'm going to take the L'Oreal True Match Powder in... This is in the shade C8 Cocoa. This is technically a face powder, but I mean, it's really dark, so I like using it for contouring because it's a nice, like, cooler tone brown. It's a nice shade of brown to contour. So I'm going to be taking this BH Cosmetics um, Flat Top Kabuki Angled Brush, and I'm just going to put some on her. And I'm just going to... take it up a little bit to the temples of my forehead. Now that our cheekbones are chiseled out, I'm just going to take a little bit of this bronzer. This is the Bronze Booster BB Beauty Balm by Physicians Formula. This is in the shade light to medium and then I'm just going to take this on a round dome brush by BH Cosmetics. Swivel it around there and I'm just going to put this at the bottom of my chin, on my jawline, just to create that shadow there, down my neck, a little bit on my forehead, I'm also just going to take a little bit more just to bronze up my face a little bit more. Okay. Now, moving on to blush. I'm going to be taking the NYX blush in the shade 02 Dusty Rose. And I'm going to take that on a Luxie 504 Large Angled Brush. So I'm just going to dip that in there and put it on the apples of my cheeks. You want to put it on your apples or your cheeks and then just bring it up and blend it in with the bronzer. I really love this um, blush. It's just like a nice natural blush. Now for highlight, today I'm going to be using the L'Oreal True Match Lumi in the shade N201 Rose. And I'm just going to take this on my finger and dot it at the high points of my face. This is like a nice rose gold um, highlight. I think this is best just to use your finger so you have more control of the product. Since it's like a liquid, it's just easier. Do you see that shine? No? I wish I could just smother it all over my face. I think now I just want to put a powder highlight on top. I'm going to be taking the Physicians Formula Shimmer Strips in the shade. I don't know the shade. Natural nude? I don't know. And for that, I'm going to be using the Morphe M501 brush. Just like a nice little dome-shaped brush. And I'm going to take the top colors. Tap off the excess, and then I'm just going to brush that where I put that liquid highlighter. Just to add a little bit more oomph.
Yes, girl. Yes. Love it. Okay, so now I zoomed you in to do the eyes. First, I'm going to prime it with the Revlon Colorstay Concealer. I do not like this as a concealer, so I just use it to prime my eyelids. It's good because it, like, it hides any darkness or blueness I have on my eyelids. But if you try to use it under your eyes, it creases like crazy and separates. So I'm just trying to put it to use, you know. So I found that it's good to just put on my eyelids as a base. Now I'm just going to set it with this orangey shade and this MAC Copper Luxe um, little palette here. You could just use any skin tones or orange shade that you have to set whatever base that you put on your eyelids because you should always set it. So I'm just going to take that with this MAC 235 SE brush, dip that in there, and just set my eyelids. So today I'm going to be using the L'Oreal La Palette. I have the L'Oreal La Palette 1 and the 2. So we're going to be using that. Mostly the second one, but I am going to be using a shade from the first one as well. First with this um, Morphe MB23 brush. Just like a really fluffy dome brush. We're going to be using that for our transition shade which is going to be this pink color right here. So I'm just going to take that with this brush and just put it all over my crease and upper crease area as the transition shade. This is just going to make it easier to blend all the other colors that we put down. Next, using the Morphe M504 brush. It's like a fluffy dome brush, but it's just a little bit smaller. We're going to be using that to go into our crease shade, which is going to be this light gray color right here. So just dip that in there. And this is just going to go in our crease. And same thing to the other eye. I'm just going to put that light gray color into my crease. It's so weird though because I usually don't do like cool tone looks. I usually love my bronzy looks. So this is just something a little different for me. But hopefully it looks good and now with my finger I'm going to be taking this like deep gray sparkly color right here and I'm just gonna put this on my lid all over my lid from the inside to the outside be taking the darker gray color right here with a Morphe M433 brush and I'm just gonna dip that in here it's gonna be like our outer V color so I'm just gonna deepen up the outer corner so you just want to like tap it on to the outside and then bring it in this is just to add some dimension and deepness. And you want to just start off with a little bit and just build it up. That's how you should always work with darker colors. Because if you put too much at once and then it looks crazy and then it's harder to blend out.
just to like buff out the harsh edges I'm just gonna use this brush to just diffuse diffuse the color at the top just so it doesn't look too harsh I'm gonna go back to that first brush MB23 and I'm gonna use that original transition shade that transition shade that we used just to blend this out Same thing to the other side, I'm going to take that dark gray color and just put it on the outer V. Just tap it on and then blend it in, start blending it in from the outside. Now I'm going to go back into that transition shade. A little light pink one over here and just blend it out blend out the harsh edges now I'm gonna go into the La Palette one La Palette nude one and I'm just gonna take this silvery color over here with my lid I mean with my lid <laughs> with my finger onto my lid just because I want the inner part to be a little brighter that gray color was a little too dark, so I'm just going to take that color and just put it from the inner corner to the middle, to like kind of the middle, like that. Same thing to the other eye. Back to La Palette Nude 2. And back into that transition shade to buff it out again. You know the dealio. You want everything to be nice and blended. Okay. Now you could stop here or I think I want to add a little bit of warmth. A little purple burgundy color. So I'm going to take this color over here, the second to last color in the second palette. Now I'm just going to take this bright color right here and I'm just going to use that for my brow bone highlight with this BH Cosmetics brush. And I'm just going to pop that right up there. Okay, and now... Since there's so much like darkness at the top, I just want to keep it light at the bottom and I'm just going to go on to mascara now. And I'm going to be using the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara for my top and bottom lashes. I'm going to be taking this NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade London. Alright guys, this is the completed look. I hope you enjoy this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already and thank you so much for watching. Can you see it? Can you see it? Do you see the highlight? Do you? I don't know if you can tell on camera. I don't know if you can see that highlight. Yes? No? Maybe so? Yes? No? Maybe so? Oh, I see it. Uh, I love it. Love it.